understood what happened. The little boy. Ronan, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Not really. As if today wasn't fair enough. I just made a monumental fool of myself. <laughs> Someone offered me a shoulder crown and I ended up kissing him. Where the hell did that come from? It's understandable. It's unforgettable. But where are you going now? Home. I need to be meeting the others for a debrief, but it's the last thing I feel like. Oh, I hope you're not going to be by yourself. Why not? Getting used to it. Are there any friends you can call? Jim got all the friends in the divorce settlement. I'd say come and have a drink with me, but I'm really not feeling up to it. It'll be fine. But I could manage fish and chips and a big pot of tea. That and whatever's on telly, you're welcome to join me. No idea how good that sounds. <laughs> have the Kendall Grant acknowledgement emails gone out? Oh, I'll do it next soon as I have my break. I've received a couple more applications. I'll print them out. You can add them to the file. I thought the final deadline was yesterday. Both applicants are in the UK, where it is yesterday. Given their high calibre, I'm sure no one will object to us giving them special dispensation for living in a different time zone. Tell her to hurry up. I want my girlfriend back. Yeah, I know. It's not as if I don't have that enough to keep me busy. Hi, Maya. Tanya says hi. Listen, I'm going to go. I've got lustres coming out my ears. You too. Bye. She's proud of me for stepping up and giving charge nurse a go. How's about that? You look busy. First day in the new job. Yesterday doesn't count. Thanks, by the way. I couldn't have got through it without you. You're welcome. How about a drink after work? Careful, I thought got me into yesterday's mess. One little drink? Two, at least. You're on. Well, okay, um, first up, a few things from night shift. Mr. McKelvey was complaining of Speaking of creatures of the night... Sorry. How was the club? Or are you going to try telling me that it's food poison? I know I hang over when I see one. Go home, sleep it off. I can't. Kenny doesn't have any sick leave left. Well, I don't care. If you knew you were working, you shouldn't have been drinking. Go home. Well, I've seen you working with a hangover. Quite recently, but... Okay, if you want to stagger through the day, you can. In theatre? Really? I'll find you something lighter. Everybody happy? Good. Can we start handover now, please? Today or not. Who did you hear that from? Doesn't matter. I'd had a couple of drinks the night before, before you asked me to be charged nurse. But when you did, I finished the one I was on and that was it. And how were you in the morning? Fine. Excited about the job. But then I hardly saw you all day. I don't think I'd realise how busy I'd be. And I was so scared of making a mistake. If anything, I was too thorough. Which might explain why I'm still waiting for the new roster. I'm sorry it took so long. I'm sure I'll get faster. You know, there are people around here who've tried to tell me you're not charge nurse material. Don't make me feel like an idiot for arguing with them. Drug rounds are all done? Already? Yeah, well, I don't sleep around. Meaning I do? Meaning the drug rounds are all done. Was it an innocent comment? I suppose it was an innocent comment when you told Scotty I was hungover yesterday, too. I did not. Well, someone did. What, you automatically assumed it was me? I know you're hacked off about being demoted, but I didn't think you were petty enough to dob me into the boss. Yeah, I'm not stupid enough either. I have to live with you, remember? Who else would have done it? Gee, I don't know anyone who actually saw the state of you yesterday. Ask Tracy. Tracy? Do you think everyone knew that I was hungover? Oh, I mean, ask her if she dobbed you in. I'd like to see her deny it. What? Well, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? Well, get over yourselves. The pair of... Scotty, for goodness sake, stop. You know, if you spend a bit more time doing your actual jobs and less time whinging, then you might get some loyalty. So it was you. Of course it was. It was not. But Scotty, that's enough. What's wrong with you people? I was being that I went glad I don't care. Just get out of here, all of you. over. People, you are free to have lives. Who's up for a drink? Come celebrate your last day with us. Oh, no. Scotty and I have plans. Sorry. Shane. Who else? Kids won't feed themselves, I'm afraid. Well, they would, but it would be pies and chips. I'm off to make sure they get some greenery. Night.
Uh, what about you? You're always keen for a drink. We could try the new place, the back back. Oh, not tonight, sorry. Why not? You're not on early tomorrow? No, but um, I have a thing. What thing? Don't tell me you have to wash your hair. No, but there is a pile of ironing with my name on it. Bye. Yeah, I know. I love you too, babe. Okay, bye. Oh, it's all tucked up in bed and I thought, did I leave the iron on? The classic paranoia. You did, but I turned it off. Thank you. Oh, back to my book then. I just spoke to Maya. How's she going? Good, but she's staying on in Whangarei for a while longer. How come? Is there a problem with the baby? No, she's all fine, but Belinda's a bit on the weepy side. Maya doesn't want to leave her just yet. Oh, what's she going to do about work? Well, she was going to call Scotty about extending her leave. At least she knows I'm here to fill her shoes. So you're going to carry on as charge nurse? Why wouldn't I? I mean, sure, being the boss is really killing my social life. And right now, this counts as dinner and a show, but as long as I'm making my girl proud, that's all I care about. I thought you'd be at the cafe by now, so I, uh, um, flat white to go, please. Sure. FYI, the bug bar is honouring those card thingies. S sorry? If you take in your IV loyalty card, they'll give you a free coffee straight away and then start you on one of their cards. And their flat whites are only three bucks. Really? Yeah. And you get a chocolate fish with every purchase, oh. including takeaway. Um, cancel that flat white. Can I shout you a coffee at the bug bar? You've been very helpful. It would be a bit rude to walk out now. Yes, it would. But even more rude to say no. So, shall we? Yay. Sorry. I bet their coffee tastes like dirt. We'll let you know. <sighs> I am so glad to be out of surgical. Miss the adrenaline and a BD. That and the petty politics on the wards do my head in. Something I should know about. I'm only going to get myself in trouble again. Say it. Okay, but you can't demote anyone off this information, promise? Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Scotty. I want to be able to tell you what's going on in my world, but I have to be able to trust you, 100%. I promise I won't demote anyone. Today. Let's just say Nicole's management style hasn't been winning her any friends. There, I've seen it. She's not there to make friends, and I'm happy with the work she's doing. She stays. Whoa, easy there, Trigger. Oh, sorry, it's just... It's... Not the first comment I've heard about Nicole, that's all. You okay? <sighs> Should we eat outside? We could do with some fresh air. Sure thing. Come and help me eat this thing. It's a monster. No, thanks. Oh, go on. I know you've got a sweet tooth. Now sit down. And listen up. This is how it goes today. Rosie, you'll be looking after Mr. Watts. Again? It's called continuity of care. Suck it up. Some people management skills. Carol and Cara, you'll be in Ward 9 looking after Mrs. Tellman. She has a tendency to wander, so keep an eye on her. She's only new. I'm sure she'll calm down once she finds Wendy? Yes? Do you have something you want to say? No. Pay attention then, please. And that goes for all of you. If you have any questions, you can ask them when I'm finished and not before. Understood? Thank you. Why am I being changed? Because I changed my mind. And I'll get you to replace Mrs. Rogers' urinary catheter. Can someone give me a hand? It's a one-person job. She's pretty confused. She won't keep still. For goodness sake, just get on with it. You'll be fine. Thanks for the support. Now, I've been thinking. Next social club event. Suggestions, anyone? Pop quiz, and bowling, strip karaoke, jelly wrestling. Now's your chance to have your say. I know what would be good. Great, let's hear it. How about a more relaxed atmosphere at work? Right, so you actually felt like socialising up. Yeah, we'll get my vote. Although maybe we should limit the guest list. No bossy britches allowed. Did you hear that? Oh, the peasants revolting. They're dissing me, practically to my face. So maybe you need to get really tough. What about press-ups or making them scrub the toilets with a toothbrush? I'm just trying to do my job. And Hannibal Lecter was just trying to have lunch. That is so... I know, and I hate it. Used to be the most popular person around here, and now look at me. Mm, Nicole, no mates. Exactly. 
So what do I do? Chill out. Cut them some slack. Remember what it's like for the little people.